As you probably know by now, the U.S. House of Representatives passed a historic $2 trillion rescue package, signed by U.S. President as well, which will trigger millions of rebate checks of up to $3,400 for an average American family of four. Who gets it, how, and how much? All these questions will be covered in this video, so make sure to watch till end. All I ask is for you to gently press the like button and subscribe, so you don't miss out on any useful video. So there is this staggering $2 trillion stimulus, which should cut $1,200 checks to many US citizens, expand unemployment insurance payments and extend loans to businesses. First of all, the big picture, the bill will allocate $350 billion in loans to small businesses to help keep them alive during this period when many businesses are closed in an effort to stop the spread of this new illness. It will also allocate $100 billion to help hospitals which struggle to cope with patients. The rescue package also provides $500 billion, which will include $46 billion for commercial airlines, and other hard-hit industries, and $454 billion for the Federal Reserve to leverage businesses, states and municipalities. As for the average American citizen, Treasury Secretary stated that direct payments to many would come within three weeks, but this might be somewhat difficult to accomplish. So who gets the money and how much? The bill gives a one-time direct payment of up to $1,200 for individuals and $2,400 for married couples and $500 for each child 16 and younger. Eligibility depends on income. A single taxpayer whose adjusted annual gross income is $75,000 or less will get the full $1,200. Above $75,000 will get smaller amounts, with no payment to anyone making $99,000 or above. For married couples, the $2,400 benefit begins to phase out after $150,000 in combined annual income, and those making $198,000 or more will get zero. Rebates decline $5 for every $100 above the annual $75,000 or $150,000 in case of couples income ceiling. The rebate decreases at the same rate for children and households above the given threshold. The IRS will determine eligibility based on your 2018 or 2019 tax return. If you haven't filed in those years, the income will be based upon the Social Security statement. Tax Foundation estimates that approximately 140 million households will receive a direct rebate. It is important to note, that any amount you receive, does not count as taxable income. The IRS will transmit the payment via direct deposit and to do this, it will use the bank account information from the taxpayer's 2018 or 2019 return. For those who have not provided the IRS with bank information, they will probably have to wait for a check. The distribution of payments should range from six weeks to more than two months. The IRS created a link where they will provide updates about these payment checks. The stimulus package also provides unemployment benefits. Under the bill, the federal government will increase unemployment benefits by $600 per week for four months. Benefits will also be extended by an additional 13 weeks. Gig workers and freelancers will also be covered. Regarding student loans, borrowers will not have to make any payments for six months on federal student loans. Interest during this period will be waived. The bill also allows you to take out up to $100,000 in retirement savings without paying the 10% penalty if you're younger than 59 and a half. This only applies to savings in a qualified retirement plan, such as a 401k or an IRA. You will still have to pay tax on the money you take out. The increased limit also applies to 401k loans. Given the huge $2 trillion stimulus, it might still not be enough. Congress is already discussing another stimulus package, 